Sanks, uh, good to have you again this morning. Uh, where have you been hiding throughout the weekend? Uh, at my mom's house watching football. And having your phones switched off? <laughs> Most of the time, intermittently, yes. But a very good morning to you and to our listening uh, public. Another controversy with the presidential pardon right in the thick of it. Um, we have heard um, the names of Mamoru Sabali, Dr. Njoguba, and Amadou Kuli mentioned. Um, who are these former JAME aides banned by the JANE Commission uh, who have now been pardoned? Is it official that they have been pardoned? Well, actually, uh, when news of this broke over the weekend, um, <clears throat> it was very difficult to confirm. So as you know, last week, Friday, I spent a great deal of time with the head of state, um, even though there were just rumors of it uh, in the offing. Uh, it was nothing I could confirm at the time. So weekend is not normally the best time to confirm stories of this nature. Um, until um, late last night, it was very difficult to confirm. Uh, subsequently, um, I was able to confirm beyond a shadow of doubt that uh, uh, actually uh, the president, uh, pursuant to section 20, subsection 3 of the Commission of Inquiry Act, the president has commuted the whole ban imposed on the following persons from holding public office. Uh, you've just mentioned three of them. Uh, I will just repeat the whole list. A is Yogu Laminba. Uh, Amadou Koli is B, Amadou A. Koli. C, Momuru Sabali. D, Basiru A. Oinjai. And E, Sira Wali Ndawinjai. This was done in Banyul, January 22nd, 2024. For purposes of citation for uh, journalists and other researchers, the, the law uh, governing this, uh, to be specific, is amnesty for persons banned from holding public office, order 2024, and is premised on the Commissions of Inquiry Act, Act 3001. So that is what it is. Uh, I can now confirm beyond a shadow of doubt, like I said, that yes, these people have been pardoned. Do you know what the president's intention is for granting the pardon now? I mean, everybody is talking about the prisoner pardons. A lot of people angry that rapists, murderers, even a high-profile corrupt uh, government official have been let go just like that. What's the president's intention? I do not know. The president doesn't owe me or any Gambian. Uh, to tell us why he has done X, Y, Z. This is a presidential prerogative powered by the Constitution of the Republic of the Gambia, uh, elected by the Gambian people. So long as uh, what he does is consistent with the due process of the law, he told me last night uh, he was okay with it. So long as it is consistent with the due process of the law and the Constitution of the Republic of the Gambia. That's all right, but uh, whatever he does, I suppose, is meant to benefit the country. How will the country benefit from these five officials' pardon? Arguably, and we can also say inarguably, anything, Peter, consistent with the Constitution of the Republic of the Gambia must be consistent and in tandem of the wishes of the Gambia people. Okay, and just finally, um, even after your explanation, people are still not satisfied uh, with the fact that the president... Uh, pardoned those prisoners. How do you respond to response to your explanation? I have said this over and over on your radio, that I do not manufacture what I say. This is information presented to me by the powers that be. Anytime there is uh, too much talk in town, I always make it a point of duty to go see with the president, get the right information, and present it to the government people. How the Gambian people present this information, Peter, is not always what, what the president will want to hear or what I will want to hear. What I find disgusting is that instead of people processing this information as government information, they blame me. Sankare is Sankare. Sankare is Sankare. Sankare does not come with this news out of nowhere, out of a vacuum. This is not Sankare Kunda news. This is Gambia government news. So, so if you are so educated, you are intellectual, when you analyze it, analyze it based on what the Gambia government presented. I'm not me. This is not me. I'm not the news. This is government news. 
for God's sake. You know, I have told him what people's reactions are, and he is very solid that the constitution uh, back what he has done. Ideally, he would have not contacted anybody or, or confer with uh, outsiders, but just out of magnanimity, you know, and, and respect for the Gambian people. Respect, I repeat, for the Gambian people. Mm. He sought consultation as, as, as another mechanism. On the issue of consultation... And the last time I was on the radio, I think I was very unequivocal that the, the murder of this innocent uh, girl, and of course the raping of, of girls, you know, is, is, is a very heinous crime. I said that. As, as a father, as an uncle and as a parent, and as a Gambian, you know, I, I, I also take very serious, you know, exception to, 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 to these things. I, I said, I think I was very clear. Yes, you were. But since you went on radio to say that um, even the Islamic and Christian councils were involved and that these people weren't let out of jail until their families had given consent, I mean, there have been reports that um, family members have come out to say they weren't uh, consulted. Again, whatever I say that day, and what I am saying today, is information presented to me by the powers that be, you know. Okay. Sankare, thank you very much for your time this morning. My profound pleasure.